Hello everybody, this is Paul. Thank you for watching today's video tutorial. Today's lesson is going to be on exponents and roots. Now, before we jump right into exponents and roots, I want to discuss something we all know a little bit about. Addition and subtraction. Now you'll find that the relationship between addition and subtraction is really the same as the relationship between exponents and roots. So let's say you start with the number 4 and you add the number 3 to it you end up with the number 7. Now what if we started with the number 7 and wanted to make our way back to the 4? Well subtraction does the job for us. 7 and then this time instead of adding 3 like we did over here we take away 3 and it brings us back to the 4 that we started with over here. Now multiplication and division also have the same relationship with one another. Say we have 5 times 2 and that gets us 10. And we want to start with the 10 and work our way back to 5. We simply divide instead of multiply and then the dividing by 2 brings us back to the 5 that we started with. So now let's jump into exponents and roots. Let's start with the exponent 3 to the second power or 3 squared. Whichever you want to call it, it's the same thing. 3 squared or 3 to the second power. Now 3 is the base and the 2 is the exponent or the power. And basically the power tells us how many times we're going to multiply the base by itself. So this time we're going to do 3 multiplied by itself 2 times since we have an exponent of 2. 3 times 3 is 9 so therefore 3 squared, or 3 to the second power, is simply 9. Now what if we want to start at 9 and make our way back to 3? Well the root does the job for us. So the square root of 9 equals 3. Now there's something missing here. Right here there's a number which we call the base. And whenever the base is missing we just assume that that is the base 2. Now the base tells us, the base number 2 basically tells us that this is the power that this root undoes. So this only works when it's the second root. You can't take the third root of 9 and get back to 3, it has to be the second. And the reason why is it's because we did the second power to get to 9. So therefore it has to be the second root which undoes it to get us back to 3. Let's do 6 to the second power. So this is the base 6 multiplied by itself 2 times. 6 times 6 is 36. So 6 squared equals 36. Now if we want to start with the 36 and make our way back to the 6 we just undo it by doing the square root of 36. Now what if our power isn't 2? Let's do 3 to the fourth power. So this is the base 3 multiplied by itself 4 times. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27 and 27 times 3 is 81. Now starting at the 81 and working our way back to 3, we take root 81, but this time we're not dealing with the square root because the exponent was a 4 that brought us to the 81. So it has to be the fourth root in order to bring us back to the 3. So the fourth root of 81 brings us 3, because 3 to the 4th power brings us 81. Now the 4th root of 81 can also be written as 81 to the 1 4th power. So if you want to write it in terms of a power, you just put a fraction 1 divided by whatever the base of the root was. Let's try one more example. 2 to the 5th power. So this is the base 2 multiplied by itself 5 times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 
2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and 16 times 2 is 32. So now we start with the 32 and we want to work our way back to the 2. So we take root 32 and this time it's the fifth root because it took the fifth exponent to get us there. So the fifth root of 32 undoes the process and brings us back to the 2 which can also be written as 32 to the 1 fifth power writing the base in the denominator and there you go that's today's tutorial hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson if you've enjoyed my videos please subscribe I'll be putting out more videos in the near future and if there's anything specific you want to let me know I can make you a video about that topic and uh, just leave me a comment and I'll see what I can do for you um, anyway, as always, have a great day and thank you for watching.